Hi gang. Just wanted to show off my sweater. So, hi there. Happy Friday. Oh, but it's actually Wednesday when I'm recording this and I'll probably record some tomorrow too. Here, let's move the camera up a bit. Ooh, ah. See a little better. There you go. Oh, now we're crooked. My goodness. Okay, hi. Happy you could visit today. I'm Soxy Nana, my name is Alice, and I'm your host today for all things knit and crafty. Um, feel free to pour yourself a cup of tea. Today I just have water, because I just got back from walking with Chewy, and oh, it's beautiful out today, finally. We're supposed to get some rain, but we'll see what happens. Hmm. Anyways, I need my water. Yes, make sure you do lots of water. Look at this. I'm so happy. It fits perfect. This is the Weekender sweater. It's Weekender Light by Andrew Mowry. It's a paid pattern on Ravelry and through her Dre Knits company. So she's out of BC, I think. Not quite sure, but don't quote me on that. But Andrea, hi. Thank you very much for your patterns. They're amazing. Anyway, sit back, relax, pull up a chair around the craft table, and uh, I'd love to hear from anybody who'd like to leave a comment. Um, thank you so much for subscribing. I see I got some new subscribers. I've been reaching out to other podcasters through subscribing to their videos, and especially from Winnipeg. I just go peg. And uh, yeah, so that's awesome. I'm so glad to see new people joining in, and eventually once I get a few people to do uh select from that are actually liking the video got to give us a thumbs up then i'll have maybe some giveaways or some contests anyways so um, i'm retired a little bit about me i'm retired i live in winnipeg canada and uh with my uh, partner wally and my little dog chewy i have two lovely grandchildren two lovely daughters and my grandchildren are avid crafters and i started this sort of because of them back in um march of 2020 when our city was uh, shut down, I decided, you know, there's about time I got doing something for them. So anyways, I started doing this podcast, actually not in 2020, but because of 2020. And I started after Christmas, actually, which was kind of late, but whatever. I, I digress. Anyways, I have my bullet journal. I've been bullet journaling like a good girl. So I do have some stuff. I have some uh, whips and some finished objects. As you can tell, I've got my sweater. Plus, I finished one of the muscle bird hats. I finished this one. And this, it's so cool. I'll put the uh, information in the show notes right below. But look at this. See, you can wear it around your neck, a scarf. Or you flip it in half. Come on. This one's going to be for my son-in-law, Manny, because I never really make anything for my son-in-laws, so it's about time I started. There we go. See? Makes a toque. And you can flip it up. We can let it down. This is Wagga Wagga yarn from Australia, and when it, uh, it has perfect stitch definition when it's being knitted and then once you wash it I wash it in the washing machine put it in a small bag a mesh bag and put it in the washing machine and then I dry it laying it flat and then it leaves it comes up it blooms just slightly so it leaves it nice and soft check that out beautiful 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 I'm gonna put on my microphone here because I found out the microphones that I bought the earbuds I bought they're not the greatest so we'll just pretend and we'll go back to using my other little microphone. Eventually, maybe I'll get a mic that works a little better. Anyways, so that's the Musselberg hat. And I'll put the information in the notes below. And then I have my sweater that I made. And I finished that one off too. Okay, so I've got some works in progress to go over. First off, though, I just wanted to say hi again to everybody. Uh, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up uh, when you can. If you like the video and share, share the video, because I'm having lots of fun doing this. 
Starting next week, we'll be heading out to our trailer out in Pinawa, Manitoba too. Um, and we'll be taking out a bunch of stuff. So I'm hoping that I'm going to have, I probably won't have a lot of videos every week. Right now I've got the tutorial for the kids on Tuesday. And then I have the open uh, podcast for just knitting and crafting for me. But I'm going to start uh, videoing out there and as well so that we get some uh, pictures of the terrain around there and the wildlife. We get a lot of deer. So that'll be really, really nice. Anyways, um, I had some more retail therapy. As of last week, I got that delivery from Knit Pecs that I was just totally, totally over the moon about. But Wolseley Wool, our local, our local wool shop, uh, for all things wonderful wool, uh, they had, they've been having a sock, stock, <laughs> it's an extravaganza of sock wool all month of April. And I haven't been able to get in on, um, on a lot of the wool from there recently but when I went to return I had two extra balls of this wool from this sweater so I went back and I exchanged it and I got more than I planned of course I bought some opal okay so this is opal and the color is where does it say it has a name but you know I don't read German but it is number 3204. Anyways, this is a picture of the colorway here. I don't want to get too bad of a reflection. There you go. That's the colorway for that one. And I got this one. Oh, this one doesn't feel as thick. Oh, and it almost looks like it's been rewound. I'm going to have to, I think it's, I think they're all about 100 grams, anyways, but this is this one. Let me see that. I'm going to put my face in the way. Let me see that one. And then I got this one, which I've already caked up, which I have a tip for you for caking your with a ball winder. Okay, this one. Oh, again, these are all like really variegated. So, or actually, they're self-striping. Sorry. And this is another one. Conservation Week. Okay, this one is called Garden on Grund. This one is called <laughs> something Fahrenheit, Naturist Fahrenheit. This one actually says Conservation Week. <laughs> this is the only one that's really in English. So there you go. That one's got more blues in it. So that's the one I'm going to be uh, knitting up first. And because I started working, I couldn't wait. I had to cast on, of course. I had to cast on some more socks because that's what I do, Soxy Nana. I ripped back the pop yarn and I'm going to use this pop yarn and this to make the May um, Intermediate Sock Along. And uh, yeah, definitely jump on board with that. It's awesome. I recommend it for anybody. Megan Tildesley puts out or posts uh, a few patterns to choose from. And it's your choice. You pick from the patterns that she has. She promotes Canadian uh, pattern makers and Canadian dyers. She's out of BC. She has burning impressions. And she uh, hosts a uh, sock along every month. And then they have prizes. People donate prizes. And uh, this is on Facebook. I'll put the information in the notes below. So you can jump on board with that sock along if you wish. Uh, it's for knitting though. Knitting only. And it's an intermediate. So if you are a newbie, uh, beginner, maybe it'll be nice for a challenge. Go ahead and challenge yourself. Um, or if you're an intermediate, you'll have no problem. Anyways, so I did do have a work in progress. I did start these socks for myself. Another tip I got for you. Coming up. I started these. These are that wool that I got from Wolseley again. Always sock yarn from Wolseley wool if I can help it. If I can afford it. I love, I love, I love sock yarn from there. This is the Pro Lana, and it's an Atna, Atna Golden Sock Stretch. 70% wool, 23% polyamide, and 7% poly, and polyamide, 7% polyester elite, which is the stretch. It does have a bit of stretch. I'll just pull, show you the colorway there. The colorway again. I can never read them anyways, because it's just so, so, so small writing, goodness. 
quit with the small writing, you guys. I guess they got lots to fit on one label. Anyways, these are them. I'm just right, making vanilla socks and I'm doing a fish lips kiss heel. See, that's the foot and then that's the other side and they're matching pretty close. I usually try to um, wind my wool into ball, two balls that are, and then uh, find, the, find uh, the, the strand to help it match so it's as close to being matchy matchy. I only have my, my scrappy socks never match, but that's it. The rest of my socks, I like them to match if I can make them match. And I picked up these cute little ends, these little rubbery things. Yeah, picked up a couple of those. Now what I was going to tell you was, I have, whoop. what I do is I, I uh, cut out cardboard for people's feet, right? Now, most of us that do a lot of socks will do this, right? Make a socks, uh, or make a sock um, template for your foot, okay? Now it's got, I cover it in packing tape after I write on it, okay? I usually write on it, I put on the different um, lengths, right? And where to start the heel, where to start the toe, etc. But what I, and so, uh, and then I cover it with packing tape so that it actually, you know, if I dump my coffee or my tea on it, I don't have a problem with wiping it, just wiping it right off. Anyways, that's a good tip. But what I also do is, in this case for Walters, what I did was, I have on one side, I have all the uh, measurements, but on the other side, I actually wrote out the pattern. So if I'm making a basic pair of Prairie Vamp boot socks for him, I have 3.75 knitting needles, cast on 51, knit one pro one, or knit two pro one for 45 rows, knit um, uh, stitch, stocking stitches on heel for heel, and then how many stitches I use for the needle, whether I'm using a fish lips kiss or if I'm making a heel flap. I'll actually write out just a cheat sheet right on the cardboard. And that helps considerably because I don't have to take the pattern with me everywhere I go. I can just take his foot. <laughs> okay, well, I also could take his foot if he comes with me somewhere, but it won't have writing all over it. I mean, I don't recommend do not write all over your husband's foot, okay, or, or someone's foot to give you patterns. But, and then again, I cover it with packing tape. So that works really, really well. And I like that. That's a good tip for today. Oh, I'm going to put this back in my bag by Dragon Fiber Bags and my my new socks that I'm knitting up. I've already done both heels and what I do is I don't do both the heels on at the same time. What I'll do is I will actually take one sock off of the circular because I do do them two at a time toe up. I do um, take one off and and do a fit and do the heel on one and then I'll I'll switch them and I'll do the other heel and then I'll put them all back on the same needle so that uh, I can do up the leg. Okay? So, and I posted this on Instagram and I'll be posting it again on Instagram, you know, at this point because I put my progress, little progress keeper at the toe. And again, this is one, the one I made with my earrings from Bahamas when we went. My little earring. Let's see if I can get it right way up got a seashell for the for the butterfly. I wasn't ever going to use these earrings as earrings so it's beautiful. I get to see it all the time. I use it as sock jewelry, knitting jewelry. Anyways, I'm going to put my progress keeper here and then you can see, I'll probably be finished these in no time, but put my progress keeper at the point where I'm working now so I can see after this video how much how much more I've done. That's what a progress keeper does. There we go. There. So I put, put it on uh, Instagram, and I have a hashtag, guys. Use the hashtag if you like, and that's the way we'll be doing uh, any draws we do in the future, too. It's called hashtag Soxy Nana Alice, and I also have hashtag Soxy Nana. And go ahead and uh, follow me on, on, uh, on, uh, on Instagram. But I put it like this in the picture where it was just saw the toes, and someone thought, someone went ahead and had a laugh and thought, oh, you're making bikini top. Yeah, not for this girl. Sorry, not happening. Okay, so that's my work in progress for my socks. And I've got two that I'm eagerly waiting for May to come because it is the last week of April, folks. So 
that's that and that's my my uh, uh, bamboo pop that I'm waiting for the main sock along and that's my two well three new uh, opal yarns that I got oh I was going to tell you too these earbuds they're great for everything except they're not really a microphone so I'm going to have to give them a call and find out if I can make it a mic for these videos because that's what I initially really did want them for uh, but they're great for listening to audiobooks, which I also listen to while I'm uh, knitting, or other YouTubers, which I've been subscribing to new folks out there, and uh, and listening to the YouTubes, and they're wireless, so they work really well, and they last a long time. The um, like the uh, the charge, I charged them up at 100 percent, and it went they went pretty much for two days, and I had them on quite a bit. I was doing a lot of work on my. Uh, on my tablet so I was I was using them up they worked really really well what else have I got oh I got one more work in progress because I finished this one this muscle bird hat remember that I got that beautiful wool from knit picks the knit pick stroll with the with the uh, little bit of a, a sparkle in it um, I caked it up and I started another muscle bird hat this one's gonna be a gift as well and I thought oh that'd be pretty I love the blues so it's going to be just a blue stripe it looks like it's a self striping it doesn't look like it's variegated um, however it might not be a perfect striping uh, perfect uh, self striping but we'll see how it turns out and there I got my little progress creeper again keeper again it says love this is another one that I made I make all my progress creepers and stuff so yes my wool jewelry and I did that video on how to make your own Oh, here it is. How to make your own uh, progress keepers. Okay, Glimmer Stroll Fingering Weight, and it's called Midnight Iceberg. Okay, uh, 462 yards, 100 grams. It's a really nice soft yarn. It's working out very lovely, and I'm sure it's going to be pretty easy. It's 70% fine superwash, merino wool, 25% nylon, and of course 5% stellina, which is the sparkle sock labs by knit picks okay so that's on again i got my little new little little rubber ends there those are great because you know when you're packing a lot of stuff in one bag to go somewhere you definitely want to have something on the ends of the needles i was trying to figure out a way of uh, finding something that i could use that's you know uh, around the house um, to make and I even thought of plasticine or something like that But I don't want to try something like that because it would stick to the fibers and it would be messy <gasps> What else did I get this week this week? I found one pack of my socks To make sock monkeys, so I found one pack. So I've got enough here to make uh, five pair of uh, the pink and the purple and then I picked up some um, regular work socks to make the work sock style so the boys like those a little better the only thing is is that it is pure wool so when you do wash them they're going to shrink up a little bit but it's a it's a sock monkey anyway so i did that and i'm going to sew up the actual body parts of the of the monkeys and then i'm going to take them out to the uh, trailer with me and in the evening if i don't feel like knitting which probably never happens but if i don't feel like knitting i will go ahead and stuff some monkeys of these sock monkeys so that's it for works in progress and newbie stuff. We were supposed to go and visit the grandkids on the weekend because we are part of their bubble. And then Winnipeg went ahead and Manitoba now has new restrictions and now we're not even allowed to go and visit between households. I guess they're going to just basically hit us, hit us with right in the beginning. Um, right at the source and that's about it because you can still go to church you can still go grocery shopping you can still go to your swimming lessons you just can't visit in each other's homes not even outside uh, in the garages or what have you so i'm really hoping that you know this really works they're going to be closing us up until the may long weekend uh, in the city and in manitoba and hopefully that will that will uh, help stop the new variants and cut down on the number of people that are getting sick and dying. Basically, I think just about everybody's got their first, almost everybody will have their first inoculation soon that is over the age of 50. And then I think they're already starting in on, on a lot of other um, age groups too. So that's awesome. 
Uh, I am, again, postponing my business, my uh, needles to pins biz alternation, alterations business um, here in Winnipeg until uh, hopefully, hopefully I'll be opening up in the fall now. So that's, uh, that's about it for that. What else have I got on my list of show notes for today? Um, oh, I was going to give you another, uh, another uh, tip. I was winding up a ball of wool and the ball of wool and I found that with those ball winders it, it you get going and then all of a sudden it, it they go wonky and it's not a professional ball winder by any means it's just the one from Michaels I got it from Michaels I got it at, as at half price uh, or not half price as uh, with the coupon you know how you get the coupon in the mail or whatever and on the flyer Anyways, I got the coupon, went in, bought it. It was, uh, I got it for like 40% off or something with the coupon. And it's just a cheap plastic one. I shouldn't say cheap. It's a threads and loops. I think it's back there someplace. It's up there. Can you see it right there? Okay, so I like to do a two, two balls for each uh, ball of sock yarn, right? So that I can match up the colors. I make it matching, uh, matching socks. So... You're winding, 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 and then all of a sudden a whole bunch of it's at this end, or a whole bunch of it's at this end, and then you got to take it all off, this much off, and then restart it again. Well, you know what I found, and I don't know if any of you have done this too. As it's winding, you get so far, and then squish it on the actual post. So squish it so that it spreads it out a little bit, and give it a little bit of a tug, and then wind some more, and then do it again, and it's kind of so that it's actually making it like a little bit wide, like taller. I guess you could say it's taller. Boy, did that ever make a huge difference. That was great. I was so happy with that. Then, also what I do, uh, because again, it, it starts to unravel a little bit at each end after you've already done it. So what I do is I take a little bit of the last bit of the thread wool that's, uh, and pull it back. And then I actually wind it this way. And that way, it holds everything in place and give it a tuck underneath and it holds everything in place for so you can still do a center pull ball right and then it won't unravel from the outside quite so easily quite quickly so that's doing single when you're doing a single wool and then of course I always always before I even sit down to start looking at it I right away I do this I, I actually end up with a little tiny little leftover ball because I find the match right away. It's the first thing I do. I find where it matches and where the match is actually, you'll see there, it actually switches from a kind of an orange to a blue, kind of a rusty color to a blue, and I will actually do that in advance. So it's ready to go, pick it up, throw it on the needles, and I will have matching socks. These ones I'm actually putting into a bag that's uh, a Ziploc bag because I'm just waiting for the other bags to be empty. I'm not, um, and I wanted it small, like I didn't want it in a, in a big bag. Okay, because I'm going to be putting it all, everything goes into my 31 bag. Yep, with all the pouches and everything and my, and my needles, needles and pins, my little... Notions pouches and my Notion glass case. Remember this from my last video, from one of my old videos? There's my Notions for sewing. And these are my Notions for knitting and crocheting. I got a marker in here if I need it. I got my little, my number one thing I have to have with me is my little crochet hook. My crochet hook is a 2.5 millimeter and this is 100% the most important part just about of my of my notions kit because I make drop stitches and I split stitches and I can go back and I can just frog up one stitch. Hey, that's a good one for tutorial. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on that. The kids tutorials that I've been doing, um, they're not the greatest. I deleted some by accident and had to redo them. But if there's anything you think that would be a good little tutorial for, to teach the kids Please let me know, and I'll just whip up a cute little tutorial. A real cute little tutorial. I've put them onto now onto kid friendly, so there's no comments allowed on them. They don't have any um, any kind of ads on them or anything like that. So that's what YouTube decides, and it's like a law now or something. So I'm good with that. 
I'm good with that. Totally good with that. And so that's for the kids. I got some leftover wool sitting in here. Oh, I got another pair of socks. Oh, I'm going to make a pair of socks for Walter. I got some more of these Wagga Wagga balls of wool still in my stash, which I will get in on the stash along with uh, uh, Knitting Traditions. And that's Inga out in Norway. She's awesome. And this is a, that Wagga Wagga yarn, the same yarn that I'm using, that I used for that Muscle Berg hat. And I'm going to have, so I'm going to do this blue. And Walter's favorite pair of socks are Simple Skype. So, and I can do those right off the top of my head now. And again, I, you know, have it written for him, for his size. And I'm going to do gray heels and toes for him, just as a little bit of a variety. He absolutely loves my socks. And yeah, so I'm going to make those. And, oh, I forgot to put the the sock ball uh, wrap in there. But again, this is the Wagga Wagga sock yarn from Australia. And I bought that from Amazon, actually. It's crazy. Amazon's awesome. You can get all kinds of stuff from there. That was really neat. I got those, uh, those earbuds from uh, Amazon. And they actually sent me a thank you card in it. And I actually um, was able to um, uh, get a $5 gifts card if I put in a, a review. And it didn't even matter if I, it was a good review or bad review. But of course, it was a good review because they are a really good little, good little earbuds. But uh, and they come with uh, lots of features. We'll just see if it's if it works as a mic for me. Anyway, so um, so that was it. I did the weekender light. I did the head. Oh, I didn't do the headband. I didn't bring it down. I'll do it next episode. I have a poncho, a blue poncho that I made years ago with some Hirschner's yarn that I bought from a good friend of mine, Diane. Hi, Diane. She's with, uh, or she has her business is uh, My Pink Bathtub, and she does some uh, wonderful, wonderful knitting. Uh, I'll actually link her information if it's okay. I'm sure it is, but uh, she's got an Etsy store. She makes patterns. She writes knitting patterns as well as actually knits uh, products that uh, she sells. She lives out of town here. Anyways, um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, I got I bought some wool off of her. She had some wool she was selling, and it was a Hirschner's brand. Now I haven't bought Hirschner wool in a long time because it is online, of course, and because I really have a serious problem with paying for shipping. But whatever. Anyways, that's just my own little anxiety about paying shipping. Anyways, um, it was I th I'll have to find out what the wool is. Anyways, I had some leftover. I made a I I made a poncho. Uh, with the V in the front. I just love it. Anyways, I uh, I wear it all the time and I had a little bit left over so I made myself a, a toque or just a slouchy hat. Well, I don't wear hats so but in the winter my ears freeze so I made ended up I have this uh, ripped it back because I'm famous for ripping back things and remaking them into something else and I used uh, used this thing. This is a now I wrote it down the word Tunisian, Tunisian, I don't know. I always say Tuscany, <laughs> but no, it's a Tusian crochet hook. This came from my mother-in-law uh, in a bag of stuff or in a bunch of stuff from uh, my sister-in-law, actually. And it is so cool. I didn't know what it was for. I had, to, I had to put it out there on Facebook to see if anybody knew what it was. And then they told me what it was. And it's for doing Afghans or crochet, but it kind of comes out looking like knitting. It's really cool. It's different. Anyways, this is a size six and a half millimeter. And see, it is a crochet hook, but it's really long. And there's all kinds of uh, tutorials on how to use it. I can't crochet anymore. That's partly why I don't have a lot of crochet. I knit because my wrist, my right wrist cannot take, like even now, just now, just doing that, it just, it hurts, right? So I can't do that, that that same way I can't do continental knitting is because it has that kind of a that that twisting motion that I can't do with this wrist anymore getting old whatever my problem anyways so what I do uh, is I tried this and because when you hold it here I shouldn't have put it back in the <laughs> sock sleeve what you do is you actually grab it and then like I can I don't have to I can pull it differently it, w it just works out okay. Anyways, I made a headband just off the top of my head with the leftover wool. And it turned out really kind of cute. So next, I'll bring it out next uh, next time as a finished object. 
wonder why I forgot it today. Oh, I'm having a space kid at mon morning for sure. Anyways, uh, what else? Hmm. Oh, I'm not going to stay on Ravelry too much. Okay, for those of you who are new, I always put my Ravelry information in the notes below. But I'm not going to be on Ravelry much. I don't have um, internet out at the trailer. And it's a lot of work to put all your patterns and stuff in there. It's crazy. Like the stuff that I was making, I'd put in as a project. And you have to, you go back and you, I mean, it's great for, I have lots of time in the winter. But in the summer, I don't have as much time. There's too much stuff going on. So I'm not going to keep up with Ravelry. And I do have a Ravelry podcast group in there. So those of you, um, I guess Elizabeth and a few other people, please forgive me. I'm not going to be doing the Ravelry group. Uh, I'll leave it there because if anybody does want to jump on there and go ahead and chat back and forth, be my guest. But I just won't be monitoring that um, uh, in the future. Okay, And I see I'm not really watching. I should be looking at the camera, not at myself. Quit it, Alice. You silly arse. Okay. So, I talked about just about everything I wanted to talk to you about today. Um, next week, we're going to be packing up stuff for the trailer. If you guys have any tips on how I can get as much food in these little silly little fridges and, I don't know, any kind of, uh, you know, storage tips for the trailer, let me know. Put in the comments below. Uh, please, I haven't got any comments, a lot of comments. I got... Uh, I have people that are subscribing, which is wonderful, and I'm watching a lot of people. And uh, but yeah, leave me a comment, say hi, tell me where you're from. Um, it's always good to make new friends, uh, and because thanks to YouTube and the internet, uh, it's not quite as uh, lonely or boring out here. In the when you're doing the COVID, uh, COVID, uh, what do you call it? I don't remember what it's called. Boy, what? Okay, boom, gone. Um, when you're in your lockdown. When you're all uh, secluded like this and you can't have people in your house. I'm like, yeah, I have Wally and Chewy, you know, but other than that, you know, who else, right? You can't, you go grocery shopping, you're wearing your mask, everybody's like, you know, okay, get your stuff, get out of here, you know, so you don't get sick. But uh, hopefully this is all over soon and we can just get on with life and get on with living. I think that uh, if anything good here comes out of this, a sense of community will be the number one thing. I think that people really need to band together. And once we're all done, everybody's going to be full of hugs and kisses. So, <laughs> and then everybody will be coming down with a cold. But anyways, that's about it for today. Uh, what time is it? I don't know. One o'clock. It's one o'clock. Uh, if I have any more, I'll add it on the end. Thank you very much for watching today. And I hope you have a great weekend. Um, it's going to be beautiful here. So we're going to get out in the garden. Maybe I'll do some shots in the garden. Uh, not the garden, but the backyard. And, uh. And I could have trimmed some trees and, uh, yeah, have some fun this weekend. Anyways, take care and stay safe. Bye now.